Okay, so I am going to show you basically how to change the uh, PRAM battery in uh, Emacs uh, G3s, all those kind of uh, IMAX series from this time period of the mid 2000s. Um, this is Emacs from 06. It is uh, basically everything works. It just needs to go and get the battery replaced because, as you can see, you're getting this error. Um, some other things that are common with this is uh, it won't start up. Uh, when you do start it up, you get a weird gray screen before you get the Apple logo. This will take care of a lot of those issues. Now, if your uh, eMac came with the swivel stand, uh, first thing you do is get your Allen wrenches, and you're going to be using it's a, a six millimeter. Uh, you stick it in there. Obviously, pull it right off. comes off like this and make sure you don't snap the swivel okay now that we got the center swivel base out there are three more screws that need to come out it takes a two millimeter allen wrench there's three of them uh, and they're pretty long so you gotta pull those out uh, if you don't have the 360 degree swivel base I don't know the proper name for it. Um, obviously, you get to skip this step. I already took out the top one earlier. That's why it's coming loose after two. The last and final screw here is just a regular Phillips. And basically lifts right off. So once you lift the cover panel off, you can see the PRAM battery right there. That's the one that takes care of all your basic uh, storage of memory as far as dates and times. Um, these things can go corrupt pretty easy. I mean, it is five, six years old. Um, other things that can happen is your file system can corrupt. Uh, you can go, it won't start up. Like I said before, there's little screens that pop up that before the Mac comes up. Uh, all these things are all usually attributed to this battery going bad. This is the replacement battery. As you can see, it's pretty similar in size. It costs about, I don't know, probably $7.50 shipped to me off Amazon. Uh, you can just put an Emac PRAM battery or whatever, or it's called a half double A. Uh, I just kind of looked for the one that most people had bought for Emacs. Now to get this out, you can use a flathead screwdriver, you can use a pair of tweezers like I'm using. All you gotta do is basically push them in here and push it out. Um, I usually keep my finger here because I don't want it flying out and going all over the place. Uh, so that's the bad culprit there. Like I said, as you can see, it's pretty much spot on the same. And all you got to do is pop this guy in here. Pops right in like that. Looks all good. Um, before you button everything up, I usually go through and make sure everything starts up correctly. And that it's all good. And we'll go through, set my date and time. Today is the 20, uh, 20th, and it is March, March 21st, actually, uh, May 21st, actually, sorry about that, and the time is 4.15, so I'll set that right there, hit save, exit out, Restart. And we'll see what happens when we start up. So now I'm starting up. See if I get the same error. And look at that. 
Now if you take a look, date and time is as it was set uh, before we restarted and now the battery is all good and it's all taken care of. So that is how you fix your date and time errors that you're getting due to a bad PRAM battery. Uh, on my next video, uh, coming up in a, about a week, I'll show you how to install the Airport Express card in one of these.